Adding content to your pages in Simulation View is one of the most common tasks you'll perform in iRise. In this video, we'll show you how to lay out your pages quickly and efficiently, and provide some tips and best practices along the way. A page is the essential building block of most iRise simulations. As you saw when you learned about scenarios, pages are created in your project when you add them to a scenario. You can also create a page by clicking the button just above the directory panel. Pages should always be given a descriptive name, such as Create Profile Screen. The name you give to a page is also displayed in the Status Toolbar and the Pages Properties panel. The page's other attributes, such as its dimensions, alignment, and scroll settings, are also defined in the Properties panel. The Type attribute allows you to choose between a traditional page and one of the mobile page types that we began introducing in IRS 8.9. When you choose a mobile page type, such as iPhone 4, two new fields appear. You can choose a portrait or landscape orientation for your page, as well as a color for your time status bar. There are no scroll settings for the mobile page types, since a mobile page will never have scroll bars. We'll stick with a traditional page type for this project. Our goal on this page is to simulate a basic form for capturing a new user's profile information. This will allow us to demonstrate some different methods of adding page layout and user input widgets to a page. First, we'll add a form widget, a necessary component for capturing data. To do this, we'll use the click and draw method. Just left click the form widget icon and then click and drag diagonally to draw the form boundaries. You'll notice that when you deselect the form widget, you can no longer see it on the page unless you hover your mouse over it. We can change that behavior by choosing show widget boundaries from the view menu. Now let's add the text labels for our form fields. To add text to your page, simply double click where you want the text to appear and start typing. The resulting text widget will expand as you type. To add new labels immediately below the first one, we'll use the Control Enter shortcut. Now we'll use the drag and drop method to add our form fields to the page. We'll use text input widgets for the name and email address fields, a calendar widget for the date of birth, and a select widget for gender. Before we modify the widget properties, let's do a little cleanup. We can align our form widgets by using the align command under the edit menu. Let's also align our text labels along their right edge. This time we'll use the right click menu. After we align the top and bottom rows horizontally, we can also use the Distribute command for some fine-tuning. Finally, we'll add a checkbox widget and some text for an email opt-in, and a button widget to submit the form. Now let's modify our widget properties. The first thing we'll do is click through and provide a descriptive name for each of our user input widgets. We'll enclose the names in square brackets as a clear indication that they'll be used to capture data. For our name fields, we'll use the validation attributes to make them required. For the email field, we'll also require a valid address, and we'll make this field a little wider than the name fields. In our calendar widget, let's add some placeholder text to indicate the correct date format in case the reviewer wants to type a date instead of using the graphic chooser. In our Select widget, we'll add the options for gender in the Selection Items table. The width of the Select widget will be determined by the length of the Selection Items. For our button, we could change the label on the Properties panel, but this time we'll double-click to edit the button label in place. Two more quick updates will wrap up our Create Profile page. First, our form needs a heading, to which we'll apply the Heading 1 style. Finally, we'll apply a background color to the form widget. And there we have it, a simple form laid out in under 5 minutes.